Buffalo police are still investigating exactly what happened here, but now feel that they're able to release some details into this late Sunday night fatal crash in which again, a 14 year old unidentified male was the victim. This is near the intersection of Elmwood and Amherst Street. Uh, first, this was a stolen car, a 2017 Hyundai Elantra stolen earlier Sunday evening, and police say the young driver excessively speeding over 75 miles an hour when that car ran a red light and struck another car broadside in the intersection with a third vehicle also struck the people in those cars with only minor injuries, fortunately. Now, Police Commissioner Grimalia says video from street cameras show it was spotted by officers in a police cruiser who did try to follow, and he sought to clarify the question of whether or not this police pursuit of the car driven by the 14-year-old who was alone at the time of the crash. Looking at what we're looking at on the video, I would not consider this to be a pursuit. This was not a, a pursuit at this time. Uh, this was still what I consider, based on what I have at this moment, that our police vehicle was attempting to make a traffic stop and attempting to stop an aggressive driver, but still wasn't in a position to be on top of that vehicle. And that's evident by the uh, uninvolved vehicle that was still between the police car and this uh, Hyundai Elantra. Other details emerging according to police, they say that other people were spotted earlier in the evening in this stolen Hyundai Elantra with someone actually hanging outside of the passenger window. Uh, police are looking for them and the people who were occupants in this car when it was seen earlier on Sunday night. Uh, police say also that people were seen jumping from another stolen car into this stolen Hyundai Elantra. And that was at another location in the city. The unidentified 14 year old who was killed in this crash when he was driving the stolen car is said to be a student at Southside Elementary. Police obviously offering their condolences to the family, but still investigating this terrible incident. On your side, reporting live here on Elmwood Avenue, I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News, back to you.